Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to take a look at Snail Driver Lite. It is a tray-based version of Snail Driver, so it'll sit down here in your tray all the time, use very little memory, quick scan, and keep an eye out for up-to-date drivers. Very handy for gamers or people who just don't want to be bothered. You have a few things in the setup here to watch for. Quick launch icon, which means it would be here, which is kind of redundant because if you're going to run it in the tray, but if you're not going to run it in the tray all the time, it is a setting you can do that. Create a start menu and a desktop shortcut. Install, and as soon as you're complete, it will automatically scan for you. <laughs> there we go. And you'll always find it right here in the tray. That's it right there. And as you can see, it's scanning. It has my virtual machine. It has my processor, a little bit of system information uh, correctly. And the nice thing about this is all you got to do is click update. Oftentimes you'll have more than just one thing. There'll be a few things, but you can also click to get help. So if you have an issue with a driver, you can click on it, tell them what your problem is and send an email. How well their support works, I don't know. But as you see, you can also report a problem if you have a problem with it. So that's handy. So before we update, let's take a look at some of the settings. This is what I mentioned before. You can auto run when Windows starts. So if you don't, hopefully you made a desktop shortcut or you put it down here on the install. Minimize when you click the X. So if you click the X over here, it won't close, but rather will reside in the tray. Uh, if you want to close it on close, simply uncheck that. Create a restore point, always a good idea. Back up your drivers, always a good idea and send any error reports when you right click on the drivers list. This is all up to you. For the most part, I leave it where just the way it is. I'm pretty content with that. So, so now we'll just click on the update button. As you can see, it's going to create a restore point. We'll see how it handles that. I don't even remember if system restore is on in this computer or not. It is installing the driver and we'll end up waiting a few minutes for this. And when it's done, if needed, it may want you to reboot. So it's a nice little program just because it uses such little memory. And if you're somebody who wants to keep up with your drivers and you don't want to have to run a big program, you just want the basics. That's pretty much what you're going to get here is the basics. So we'll give this a couple of seconds to install. It looks like it's installing now. There we go. Driver outdated, updated successfully, failed, backup. That's a little confusing. Why is it still outdated? Let's do a rescan and see what we got here. There it goes. And it says we're good. So that is it. So a little confused about why it still showed one outdated, but a quick rescan seems to have resolved that. So again, you close it and it'll always be right here for you whenever you need it. You just double click it, bring it up, and it'll keep you notified when drivers come up so that's pretty much it um i couldn't drag this out for five minutes if i tried but that's the purpose of snail driver light they do have a larger fully featured program but it's tough to beat such a simple little program for updating your driver so give it a shot let me know what you think we always want to hear from you way over here in the corner you know what's going on over here there's going to be a little subscribe button right outside this window because nothing ever fits right there you go hey Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.